Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel English Literature. Today we are going to talk about Marlowe's magnum opus work Dr. Faustus. Before going into the depth of the drama, we must have a look at the basic information that we need for our competitive exams and that's all. Marlowe's Dr. Faustus, the original or actual title is The Tragical History of the Life and Death of Dr. Faustus. It is a tragedy by Christopher Marlowe, probably written around 1588. Setting Germany In the early 16th century, it was written mostly during 1589 or 93. Between them, actually 1588, I think the time will be 1588 to 93. Approximately during this phase, in between this phase, um, Marlowe wrote this. And its first recorded performance was in 1594. It was published in London in 1604. Synopsis Faustus, the story in line. What is Dr. Faustus about? In a line, you can say Faustus is a German scholar who sells his soul to the devil for 25 24 years of pleasure pursuit. Source Marlowe's Dr. Faustus is a dramatization of the ancient. German Faust legend. So, from ancient Faust legend, that was the original source of Marlowe's Dr. Faustus. But before that, there is some transformation. So, who was Faust and from where this Faust legend came? Johann Greg Faust was a German alchemist, astrologer, and magician of the German Renaissance. Actually, he is the main character. And after the death of Faust, that is also called Faustus, he became the subject of folk legend and that was transmitted from writer to writer in various countries. Later, Historia von die Johannes Faustern, the German Faust book was published in 1587. So from the legend of Georg Faust, in German there is a book that is called Historia von die Johann Faustern. It is a German book, German first book. It was also called German first book. And then the history of the damnable life and deserved death of Dr. Foster is a translation in English from the German text. It was actually no nothing innovative or original. It was just the translation of German text. And it has the only surviving edition 1592. Okay. <coughs> 1592 and now from that Marlowe's Dr. Faustus is taken from this first legend this translation it was a direct source of Marlowe's Dr. Faustus now read is sorry reditions of the first story after Marlowe so after Marlowe with Marlowe this first legend was so famous that with Marlowe it was not stopped after Marlowe, we find that it was again and again used in different uh, field, different genre, by different writers. Von Goethe's play, Faust. Again, Thomas Mann's novel, Dr. Faustus. And there are several operas. I don't, I feel that they are not so much important and it is, it will be tough to remember all the opera names, so I don't infuse them here. But you must remember Von Goethe's Faust and Thomas Mann's novel, Dr. Faustus. After Marlowe's, this work from Faust happened. Morality play. You can take Dr. Faustus as a type of morality play. For the good versus evil, the general features of the traits of morality play. Good versus evil and the conflict of hell and heaven, man souls, dragon, devil, deadly sins, all these things that we find uh, when we read about the evolution of drama during the time of medieval period, all these features of morality play we found in Dr. Faustus. The play is divided into five acts and 13 scenes. Faustus sold his soul to Lucifer in exchange of 24 years glory and power. And Marlowe's text survives into different editions, A text and B text. The earlier text, that is A text, is not taken as the original because there are some excerpt uh, that is, I would think that it is not of Marlowe. 
some farcical elements not so serious in its approach and the scholars think that they are the works of Thomas Nash and William Rowley and other writers but the BTX is taken as the most original and it is taken as Marlowe's own work now the major characters we have to keep, remember Dr. Foster is the protagonist Wagner the servant of Foster good angel bad angel Valdez and Cornelius magician friends of Foster you have to keep these names in mind and who uh, taught Foster's black magic Lucifer Lucifer is the devil and Mephistopheles the Iran boy of Lucifer who just acts on the order of Lucifer Okay, you keep, remember this point. When Foster first calls Mephistopheles, he appears in a horrendously ugly form. That Foster cannot appear. Just go away, Lucifer, go away, Mephistopheles, and came back in the form of Franciscan fire. So this is very, very important. That in which form Mephistopheles, Mephistopheles returned back. That is the Franciscan fire. Okay. Other characters were not so important, but you have to keep in mind: Seven Deadly Sins, Duke of Van Holt, Emperor Charles V, Knight, Pope, etc., etc. The play. Marlowe's play begins with a soliloquy by Foster. There is a chorus at the uh, very beginning, but when the play starts, it is start with the soliloquy of Foster sitting in his study. He is contemplating that four faculties: philosophy, medicine, law, and divinity. he had mastered all these and he wished to be equipped with more power the power that only magic can provide he is weary of his limited knowledge and at the very beginning marlo um, produces us or uh, introduces us actually not produce introduced us with the renesa figure the mastermind of renesa humanism if you go through the life of marlo you will find that marlo was an atheist and marlo was captured and imprisoned and then later he was just um, uh, released but for his atheism for his pamphlets and works that is um, termed as heretic so i can feel that foster is the brain child of marlo maybe foster is the marlo you can say that is called uh, knowledge has no limitation knowledge must not have any limitation what happened in the medieval period the knowledge is fixed knowledge is fixed it is um, no one can go beyond this fixed criteria of knowledge it will be out of syllabus god has prescribed a syllabus for us you must be learned this 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 and this you don't go beyond this and then you will punished what happened for adam and eve adam and eve was punished because they ate the knowledge the fruit of knowledge apple god said that i have provided you enough knowledge you must be satisfied with the syllabus i have provided you you cannot go beyond that but what if did what adam did they go beyond that and that's why they were punished and the same thing happens for fosters fosters wanted to go beyond his limitation go beyond the syllabus and it was uh, it was the audacity audacity on the part of the adam and eve and it was the same audacity on the part of fosters actually church and religion was never in favor of occult power black magic even they are not in the favor of science because science has the capacity to challenge the orthodoxity the corruption the malpractices of church so church and religion always feared science so in this drama we will find the prescribed knowledge and the that go beyond that knowledge that is occult power that is termed as black magic derogative pejorative term and who is a renaissance man a renaissance man is one who even can damn his soul to know what is beyond this syllabus and foster is that damn soul that audacious soul that indomitable dog a determinist soul 
who wants to go beyond the syllabus of god and want to know what is beyond that even at the cost of his own soul even at the cost of his own damnation okay so he conjures a mephistopheles satan's disciple and offers to sell his soul for 24 years in exchange of indomitable power and control a life of luxury and affluence he signed the contract in blood though the blood conceal so not conceal it will be conjure okay mistake sorry giving him a warning god is giving him warning don't go beyond that don't go don't do that but first as was fixed but first as chokes the voice of the good spirit and welcome the bad spirit as he signed the contract the latin words homo fugit meaning man flee appears on his arm keep this point in mind okay and also note down this later foster will repent because foster will go beyond his limit and he was not remain humble at all and at the end when devil is taking his soul away he will repent he will try to repent he will feel sorry anyway but foster's desire was a denison desire that i want to tell according to the contract during this period of bond foster will be attended to and served by mephistopheles and mephistopheles will be bound to give him whatever he demands and after 24 years foster has to pay his debt what is debt his soul he has to give his soul at the stroke of midnight 24 years ago he signed the contract and again 24 years after after with the stroke of the midnight clock the fiends come and carry his soul to hell and this part at um, when only one hour is left when first is telling that only one hour of my life is left that part is really pathetic and heart touching my god my god look not so fierce on me adders and serpents let me breathe a while ugly hell gap not come not lucifer i'll burn my books ah mephistopheles amazing in the last act of the play foster conjures up the spirit of helen of troy twice keep in mind very very important twice how many times twice when and when once for his scholar's friends who have requested him to show the admirable lady and next for his own delight was this the face that lost thousand ships and burned the topless towers of ilium sweet helen make me immortal immortal with a kiss Dr Foster is not a direct demonstration of the proud man's rebellion against god you cannot simplify dr foster in this way you can take it more as an elizabethan puritanism foster is free to damn or redeem himself that i told you before that he can go beyond to know more out of the syllabus of god even at the cost of his own soul free will that is the renaissance spirit free will man's freedom of choice okay and there is an ambivalent ambiguousness for us the audience the readers what is that should we support first us or not sometimes i support first us sometimes i not and i feel that is for everyone knowledge humble that i don't support of first us first us become arrogant audacious he was started um, behaving like rog so this knowledge any type of knowledge whatever it is knowledge must make you humble i think so unquenchable quest for knowledge that is a renaissance feature we find in dr foster he is not satisfied whatever he is a scholar already he is acclaimed scholar but he is not satisfied with it renaissance humanism foster is decision to pursue his knowledge at any cost that is renaissance humanism and conflict of human heart that is again and again recurrently um, uh, expressed through the go- good versus sorry good versus bad good angel and bad angel aspiring pride and insolence that i call that no lack of humbleness if that is the cause of lucifer's fall why lucifer lucifer was god's disciple so why lucifer came in the hell because of his pandemonium aspiring pride and insolence and fosters do the same fosters did the same thing 
salvation versus damnation is a major theme of this novel sorry of this drama but fosters is the character it is the human who will choose his salvation and damnation so power is in the hand of human so humanism is the most important thing in renaissance time and human being is given the most power it is not fate he will not be guided by fate or god a human's damnation a human's salvation is written in his own hand of his own deed whatever line he choose in the line of salvation or the line of or the path of damnation whatever it is it will be decided by human it will be not decided by any other um, spirit or any other power the power of a man's life is in his hand so by dr foster's you will find these several themes are discussed and deliberately they expressed explored in this drama by marlow and if you go to the life of marlow you can understand the character of dr foster's more okay i will make a video on marlow and there you can find that uh, how was marlow how marlow's faith was i told you that marlow was an atheist marlow's uh, or just uh, imprisoned in the charge of heresy so you can understand that marlow was not like the traditional uh, traditional type of religious person and even there is a morality character of morality play like good versus uh, bad etc but the main focus of this drama is the power of man humanism and for knowledge man can go beyond any criteria okay i have talked a lot i think bye